Hello Internet World, welcome to a new video on the Geek Noise channel. Today's video is going to be very hot, very very hot and very interesting actually. Uh, Fleur, or Fleur, however you want to pronounce it, very kindly sent me in their One Pro. Uh, this is like a, a thermal imaging camera add-on for your iPhone or iOS device. Uh, they do also make one for Android phones as well. And the company also actually manufacture a whole range of thermal imaging devices uh, which are really useful for lots of different use case scenarios which I'll talk to you about during this video. Uh, this particular one is the iPhone and iPad version. I can't wait to show you it in action. I'll also show you what you get inside the box and also talk to you about how you could use it as well. Now just a full disclosure as always, I always mention this, the company very kindly sent me this in free of charge for this video. They haven't asked to pre-approve the content or for me to say anything in particular. I'm going to share with you my honest opinion. This is a live broadcast as well, so if you're watching live, of which I can see many of you tuning in, thank you very much. Please do use the live chat or the super chat. The super chat is the same as live chat except it helps support the channel and it also highlights your question or comment. And if you're watching after the live broadcast, then please do use the regular comment section below. One last thing, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. So let's switch views and take a closer look at this product. And uh, I should mention uh, that I am, actually, let's switch back again. I am actually um, having a nice cup of green tea and I'm sharing this with you because this is going to form part of today's demonstration. So back to looking at what you get inside the box. We have got obviously the box itself and it mentions here we can use this to quickly diagnose issues, measure multiple spots at once, uh, meter link device compatible, we can generate professional reports, so many uh, different features with this. Uh, on the back here it says here you can see the heat solve the problem and it uses a patented two camera MSX technology. Now what you could use this for is actually to diagnose hot spots perhaps on a central heating system for example uh, or indeed you could use it to diagnose uh, problems with larger industrial type machinery and you can get this thermal image. You could also use it in a, in a motor vehicle garage. So many different use case scenarios. Inside the box, you do get the little product itself, the Flow One Pro. This is the add-on. Uh, you can actually see the lightning connector protruding out the top. I'll give you a closer look at this in a short while. You also get a USB-C cable, USB-C on one end, and then it's USB-A on the opposing end. And you use this to actually charge the little imaging camera. So it does need charging. You get around about an hour's worth of use from a single charge. And then you also get a little tiny carry case. This has got room for the charging cable and also room for the Flow One Pro unit as well. This fits neatly in. You can see the little sponge cut out so that this fits in the carry case. Uh, this is really nice, very useful. Because this is an expensive piece of kit, you want to keep it nice and safe. What you don't get is the iPhone. So this is going to be demonstrated using the iPhone XS Max and I'm going to plug it into the lightning connector very shortly. If you bought the Android version of this it would be a USB-C connector I believe so it only works with sort of the more modern uh, Android smartphones. Now on here you can see this little tiny uh, turning wheel just here and what this does as you turn it is it either retracts or pushes out the lightning connector uh, a little bit further. It's quite hard to see on camera but as I'm turning this it's actually moving that lightning connector and that's to allow you to actually adjust this correctly and use it with a, your smartphone with a case on. Uh, because if you're using your smartphone in the field and you want to um, use it with a case you're going to need to accommodate that. So that's a nice little uh, uh, design feature. And then we've got the camera and then also the thermal sensor on the front here and a little tiny bit of branding. If we look around on this side, it's just got the branding here, the edges are clear. And then on this side here, we've got the charging port, a little tiny LED light 
and then also the power button. The power button also has an LED light on as well. So when you push this to turn the unit on, you'll see that the uh, power light comes on there as well. Now I've already got the app running. The app has got a lot of settings in it. I'm not going to be able to run through them all during this video, but I'll certainly show you some. So let's plug this in and you can plug this in either with the camera facing you, sort of in selfie mode, not sure why you'd use that, or you can plug it in facing the back of your phone. So we'll do that now and it clips into place. And you can see as you clip it in, uh, we get an image on here. It's just showing the desk at the moment. So this is my desk. If I put my hand under, you can see my hand is quite a lot warmer or quite a lot hotter in the middle and my fingers are a lot cooler and this is what a thermal imaging camera does it allows you to see heat cold spots and hot spots uh, but the app has actually got a lot more features built into it as well so let's run through some of the uh, features and then I'll give you a bit more of a demonstration so just here we have got a little tiny sort of settings symbol and we can tap on this and here we can switch from visible to MSX to thermal settings. Uh, we've also got palettes, MSX distance, temperature range, uh, lock span, IR scale and selfie mode. It's really nicely set out this top panel. I like the way they've done that. So uh, a really nice sort of set out on the uh, settings. We can also swipe to change from photo to time lapse mode. Uh, time lapse mode very very useful because you might want to set this up to look at a piece of machinery over quite a lengthy period of time to see how it changes whilst it's in operation and then we've got photo mode obviously to take photos and then video mode as well and these are all captured and stored to your smartphone's memory and then just over here we've got the battery capacity left you can see it's currently at 97 percent uh, then further down we've got some timer modes, uh, flashlight mode and then this bit here I think could be improved. This is where we can add sort of spot metering, rectangle and circle uh, to the actual display and you can add multiple ones as well. I'll show you this in action very shortly but this always stays in portrait orientation. So if I just tap on that again and just make sure my phone has registered that it's in landscape that menu overlay still stays in the same orientation instead of rotating round, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, so let's tap that again. We've also got this here, which pops out, and here you can gain access to even more uh, settings. You can contact support, look at your gallery, uh, go into camera, etc. So a little pop-out menu there for some extra settings as well. But you want to see this in action. And I mentioned a moment ago, I had my cup of tea here for a reason and here you can see how hot the cup of tea is and if I've just pushed this over to the back you can just about see the side of the cup obviously down lower is a lot hotter down lower and then you can see that the actual handle is doing its job so I'm not going to burn myself if I touch the handle I just wanted to show you that because that's like an extreme temperature in there uh, I wanted to show you just how this works with real extreme temperatures. This isn't what you would use the device for, obviously. So really good that it shows those uh, sort of hot spots in the thermal imaging area. Now, if we go here, we can actually put the spot on. So if we tap plus, and that has put spot one on, and we can add multiple ones. And now there's just in the middle of the display, uh, if I move the cup out of the way, you can see it a little bit better. You can see the temperature on that center crosshair. So it's currently 21.9 degrees. And as we put the cup under that temperature gauge, it goes all the way up to 45.2 degrees centigrade. So it's measuring the temperature really accurately and also picking up the temperature very quickly as well. Now I mentioned that you would potentially use this for diagnosing pieces of machinery. Things like maybe a central heating boiler, for example. You could also use it to see where a problem with a laptop was. Uh, so for example, I've got my laptop here. It's currently running the live stream. And I can look at an overview of the keyboard. Let's just pop this off to one side here. So I can look at an overview of the keyboard, as you can see here. 
uh, or indeed I can sort of move this and really look at these hot spots which is probably where the processor is just up here on the keyboard and you can see that that is running at 30 31 32 degrees so this is the hot spot area on this keyboard and as we move round to maybe look at the palm rests on the keyboard or on the laptop you can see that things are a lot cooler down there at round about 25 degrees so nice and comfortable to rest your palms on here whilst you're typing but it certainly shows hot spots on the keyboard and if this was really hot maybe overheating and shutting down from time to time you could use this to diagnose where the problem area was and then when you take the laptop apart you've got a good idea of what the problem area is on, on a laptop for example and it's really interesting to see just how hot these get so it's around about the 32 33 up to about 34 degrees and this is sitting quite idle at the moment it's not really doing much uh, but again just a simple example of that you could use this for diagnosing a fault on a laptop uh, and I think the real use case scenarios are in the sort of industrial field where you might be for example a plumber, electrician, some sort of technician, uh, maybe a, a garage mechanic and you could use this to diagnose those issues. Now just very quickly before I give you my summary on this you can add additional spots we can have another spot meter there as well and then we can move these spots around so I could be measuring two different uh, temperature zones at the same time uh, we can also add rectangles and circles so again if we go back to this main display I can place this rectangle over a particular part on a piece of machinery I want to measure and I can place this circle on a piece as well and you can take these photos and videos and have them to play back obviously to yourself or maybe if you're working for a client you'd be able to show them what's going on with their machinery very very interesting indeed I just think it's a great piece of kit and it has so many different use case scenarios now I also mentioned that this is quite expensive uh, and yes it is quite expensive piece of kit uh, but if you compare uh, how much this is compared to uh, a full-on thermal imaging camera either from Fleur or from an, another manufacturer uh, then this becomes quite an affordable choice because obviously it's using the technology in your smartphone so they can pass on that saving to you and just sell you this sort of add-on unit uh, I just think it's very very cool it's a really cool piece of kit and it works extremely well really nice user interface and really well implemented uh, to work well with the iOS software I haven't tested it on the Android platform uh, but I can certainly see it being very very good on there as well it's a really robust piece of kit uh, and I think uh, really af affordable even though I've said it's expensive for a professional if you're going to be using this in the services you deliver if you're as I mentioned before some sort of engineer then this is actually quite affordable it's an affordable way in in comparison to the handheld sort of separate thermal imaging units so that is it for this particular video can I recommend this let's just unplug this so we will take this off of the device and it just shuts down and then we can power it off using the little power button uh, can I recommend this well I certainly can I think it works extremely well I've been testing it for around about two weeks now in total and um, I think it's a, an extremely well made and really well designed and well thought out piece of kit from the leaders in thermal imaging cameras and sort of diagnostic uh, type um, products it's certainly extremely well done and I think that if you need something like this this is definitely one to consider now hopefully I will be bringing you uh, a review of one of uh, Fleur's actual handheld thermal imaging cameras and that will give you a chance to really see the difference between the two and it will help you decide as to whether you want to go for this little tiny add-on module for either your iPhone, iPad or Android phone if you buy the other version or if indeed it's worthwhile for you in your profession to upgrade to one of the larger maybe more fully featured 
uh, handheld units. At the moment, I'm not sure how this differs from the handheld units and whether that higher investment is worth it, but I'll be able to talk to you about that once I've got my hands on one and tested it for a couple of weeks as well. So that's it for this video. You can check out the links down in the video description to the manufacturer's website and also links to where you can buy this for yourself. So please do that. Uh, before I finish the video, uh, as always, I want to take a look inside the live chat. Uh, we've got Jimbo, just in time. Thank you very much for tuning in, Jimbo. Uh, we've also got Mark McLean. Uh, hi, my first live. Great program. Thank you very, very much, Mark. I really do appreciate it. If you're watching this after live broadcast, of course, if you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them in the comment section below. And I always say this, but it has to be done. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. That way you don't miss out on my future videos. You need to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That's it for this one. Hit the like button and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.